Hello everyone, it's Barbara, and welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday. We're going to start off with a little golden singing bell here. It charges up the crystals, it charges up me, and it charges up everybody watching this video. This is really good for the heart, the higher heart, and the throat chakras, and it just plain feels good. Let it raise your frequency. If you are new to Pick a Stack Wednesday, what we do here is you think of an idea, an issue, or a question. It can do with your life, um, somebody else's life, a relationship, career, job, home, the whole world. And then choose a stack. This is stack one, stack two, stack three. You can choose one stack, two stacks, or all three stacks. Um, I highly encourage people to listen to the entire video because you might hear something on stack number three and you pick stack number one. You just never know. So, having said that, each stack has two tarot cards one oracle card and a crystal and each stack tells a story today our background um we're very cosmic today i'm just feeling very cosmic because we are one with the whole universe with the multiverse and this is just kind of my representation of that and we're joined today by this fabulous crystal pyramid in this wood knot um, a friend of mine made that and we've got rose quartz obelisks to bring in a bunch of love so let's get started. Here is stack number one. If you chose stack number one, your crystal is rainforest rhyolite. And it's interesting because my spirit guides chose crystals today that remind me of autumn leaves. All three of them are, are kind of the colors of autumn. I like that. Um, rainforest rhyolite represents change, variety, and progress. It sparks creativity in individuals who are ready to move forward and make things happen in their lives. It allows us to reach out and beyond our capabilities of what we think we can achieve by helping us to break through the mental barriers and to reach a profound and joyous state of knowing. Rhyolite shows us how to relish in the vast potential within ourselves. You can use this stone for meditation, for helping you focus on the present moment, and for resolving issues that are not yet complete. And it's just beautiful. <laughs> so if you chose stack number one, we have cards from the Angel Tarot deck and Spirit Song Tarot. And we've got, this is a Major Arcana card, card number five, Unity. This is Archangel Sandalphon. And this is all about finding like-minded people, people that resonate with you. It's really interesting because I was listening to one of my tarot readers this morning and she was telling me and this is just this is my message is that there are people in my life that I need to drop my allegiance with uh, because they might not have our highest and greatest good in mind well this is kind of the same thing but it's a more positive message and we don't need to seek out these like-minded people we need to just allow them into our lives if you open up and allow your spirit guides and your angels and your higher self to bring things and people to you, they will. I've heard so many stories of synchronicity lately. It's miracle after miracle after miracle. And that's what a synchronicity is. The miracle, synchronicity, same thing. So just open up and allow the universe to bring you good things and good people, good events, and focus on that. Your other card is the Six of Feathers. 
and it's represented by this gorgeous dragonfly. I love dragonflies. Dragonflies are all about change or transition, and that's what this card is as well. Um, and interestingly, we have the five and the six, which adds up to 11. 11, my favorite number, very spiritual, very metaphysical, higher level. This is not the third dimension. This is a higher dimension, a higher reality. This is instead of survival mode. 3D is survival mode. We're not doing that anymore. We're creating and being passionate and being intuitive. And that's what these cards are all about. If you chose stack number one, this is all about you focusing on the higher frequencies, the higher level people in your life. The ones that are going to lift you up. Not the ones that are going to hold you back. Not the ones that are going to say, no, you can't do that. These are the ones that are going to say, yeah, you can do that. And here, I'm going to help you. Here's a hand. Let me lift you up. Allow the universe to bring these people to you. Allow yourself to revel in your in intuitive side. Allow yourself, period. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to have fun. Allow yourself to be intuitive. Allow yourself to do self-care. This is your time. And here's why. If you are happy and filled with joy and love, the people around you are going to feel that. And you are changing the world. You don't have to go out and do things. You just have to take care of yourself and be joyful and filled with love. And it spreads like wildfire. So that's these two cards. Let's see what your oracle card is. And this is um, this is an animal. Oh, this is from the animal medicine card deck. So this is card number six, snake. And I'm... I think we all know the basics of snake, but let's just see what Jamie Sands has to say. Transmutation. Isn't that interesting? We have transition, and now we have transmutation. Snake medicine people are very rare. Their initiation involves experiencing and living through multiple snake bites which allows them to transmute all poisons, be they mental, physical, spiritual, or emotional. The power of snake medicine is the power of creation, for it embodies sexuality, psychic energy, alchemy, reproduction, and ascension or immortality. The transmutation of the life, death, birth, rebirth cycle is exemplified by the shedding of snake's skin. It is the energy of wholeness, cosmic consciousness, and the ability to experience anything willingly and without resistance. It is the knowledge that all things are equal in creation and that those things which might be experienced as poison can be eaten, ingested, integrated, and transmuted if one has the proper state of mind. Tehote, the Atlantean who later returned as Hermes, and was the father of alchemy, used the symbology of two snakes intertwining around a sword to represent healing. Complete understanding and acceptance of the male and female within each organism creates a melding of the two into one, thereby producing divine energy. So that's pretty powerful between the crystal, the tarot cards, and the animal medicine card. We are getting a message here of change, of allowing, of transmutation, of ascension. Basically, you are rising up to be more amazing than you've ever known you could be in your entire life. So shed that old skin. You don't need it anymore and it doesn't fit you anyway. Allow that new skin to develop. Wow, if you chose stack number one, that is so incredibly powerful and wonderful. And um, I'm going to do a little singing bell here for that.
I feel like we should celebrate stack number one. Excellent. If you chose stack number two, your stone is petrified wood. Again, look at the autumn colors on that. Petrified wood is used to access cellular memories and work through old traumas. Because of its link to the past, it has long been used in past life regression work. It is a grounding and stabilizing stone used for general protection and to calm fears. Sometimes called the stone of business, it promotes new beginnings and enhances practical aspects of any business endeavor. Powerful in removing obstacles and reaching goals. It can also be used to ease back aches, hip problems, strengthen the bones, promote healthy skin and hair, and restore physical energy. And just imagine, this used to be a tree. Just like the one right behind it. Isn't that amazing? Mother Earth is so amazing. So, let's see. Your two tarot cards from the Angel deck and the Spirit Song deck are the Two of Fire and the Ten of Acorns. Now, in this deck, Acorns is Fire. So you've got the Two of Fire and the Ten of Fire. And that makes 12 of Fire. That's a lot of fire. Fire is passion. It's, I'm going to get stuff done. I am going to be motivated. I am going to be fabulous. Um, it's about doing the things that we've been dreaming about doing. Um, moving forward. I mean, look at this beautiful animal. This is, this is someone that's looking, looking forward. You got the sun right here. This is, there's so much positive energy here. It's just amazing. Um, New things can be coming into being. The two of fire is all about, you know, two people coming together passionately. It doesn't have to be love. It could be, but it could be two people working together with passion. And the ten of fire or acorns, this is the culmination of something. It's, it's like dreams coming true. It's that thing you've been waiting for that you're so excited about, you know, whether it's a job offer or um, money, uh, you know, maybe it's a loan, something coming your way, it's coming your way. These cards are saying it is coming your way. So sit down because here it comes. And because you've got 12, not just 10, it's going to be good. It is going to be amazing. And you're just going to go, whoa, is that really for me? And the answer is yes, it is with a lightning bolt. <laughs> Your animal spirit card is card number 51, which is the jaguar. Let's read what the deck says about the jaguar. Let's see. Card number 51, which is a six. The 10 and the two make up a three. Because 10 plus two is 12. One plus two is three. So we've got a three and a six. The Jaguar is all about integrity. So when you have all this great stuff coming to you, make sure you live a life of integrity. Okay, that's what the Jaguar is reminding us. So um, Jaguar medicine isn't just integrity, it's impeccability. Its mission is to devour the unclean aspects of human behavior. Jaguar teaches us the penalties of inappropriate behavior and offers the rewards of good medicine to those who stand in their personal integrity and walk through life in an impeccable manner. If Jaguar is roaming your dream slash reality today, its primal roar may be rewarding you for maintaining your integrity in some situation where you could have easily misused your authority. You may have been unwilling to pass judgment on another or to be self-serving. 
Were you especially kind to someone or did you do a good deed that was unexpected? If so, allow the recognition to fill you with feelings of well-being and continue to serve with compassion and open-hearted integrity. Do not falter in your resolve to be your personal best at all times. Maintain your dignity, your devotion, your compassion, holding to forthrightness and honesty, no matter what the contrary influences. Do not feed any self-important need to be an enlightened one, treating others in a self-righteous manner. Jaguar medicine teaches you that personal integrity allows for mistakes, embraces forgiveness, and humbly makes self-directed corrections, allowing a rebalanced spirit to triumph once again. So you've got all this amazing good stuff coming to you and the Jaguar is just reminding you to be impeccable in your behavior and live a life of integrity. You know, when we have all kinds of good things coming to us, our, our mission is to receive so that we can share. And the light just flickered, so that makes me kind of laugh. Our job is to receive so we may share. That is stack number two. And since we had some golden singing bell after stack number one to celebrate it, let's have a little to celebrate stack number two because today's stacks, wow. I know there's an energy shift. I can feel it. And I think the cards are showing that instead of, <laughs> and I hope there's no three of swords in here, but instead of getting the three of swords every week and hammering home, release, 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 we're getting these amazing cards that are saying, yay, you, now we're going to have great things coming forward. Okay. So you, if you chose stack number three, your stone is Miriam stone. I'm trying to get there. Can you see that? Can you see all the little the little chunks in there? I call this dragon poop. Because this was formed when the Himalayas rose into the sky. It is compressed bone, shell, and vegetation from an ancient swamp. I think it's also got dragon poop in it, but that's just me. It can help keep you cool when under extreme pressure. It is an alchemist stone, enabling you to transform seemingly hopeless situations into creative, positive ones. It can work as a counterbalance for the busy. Mo <laughs> Excuse me. It can work as a counterbalance for the busy modern world by bringing back pleasure in nature. Use it to aid you in making long-term decisions and for travel. It can aid in the gentle release of karma or trauma from the past, helping you to move forward. It is also known to ease skin complaints, scar tissue, mobility issues, and scalp disorders. This also has other, other names. It's known as the Arabic stone, the calligraphy stone, Miriam agate, elephant skin jasper, or Miriam jasper. But like I said, I call it dragon poop. There, look at that. My camera's trying to focus on that. It says, no, I'm not going to. So that is your stone on stack number three. Your cards from the Spirit Song and Angel Tarot decks. Ha, no three of swords today. Woohoo! <laughs> you get the Ace of Fire. We had a lot of fire in stack number two. Here's more fire. This is the Ace of Fire, and this is all about new beginnings passionate new beginnings, happy new beginnings, um, changing your life. It could be a new job. It can be a new love. It can be some kind of reward coming in for you, money coming in for you, somebody patting you on the back, you patting you on the back. But there's a new, fiery, passionate beginning coming. Oh my gosh. And more fire. This is the four of fire. 
Acorns in this deck is fire. So we've got a total of five of fire. Wow. I don't know if you just saw that, but the lights just flickered. So we had a whole bunch of fire in stack number two. We had the 12 of fire. Now we have five of fire in this stack. Lots of fire, lots of passion. People are being motivated to do things. Now, having said that, this kind of fire is to, is to light a fire underneath you, help you get motivated, because if you've been kind of sluggish for the last, well, let's just say for the whole year, because of all the stuff going on around us, now is the time to be motivated to make your dreams come true. Be open. I just said this in the other stack. Be open to allow things to come through. Maybe you need to clean your house. Um, we're all about receiving so that we can share with others. Well, when we clean out our house, in other words, get rid of stuff and you know, donate it somewhere to a good cause, don't even donating it to somebody down the street, um, we're making room for new, better things for us. And remember, there's a saying, one person's trash is another person's treasure. And there are so many people that would love, love, love with passion to have that thing that you've had in a box for seven years in your basement. It doesn't really have that much meaning for you. But somebody out there is going, wow, I really wish I had a, you know, whatever that thing is. And so when you donate it, you are making somebody else's dream come true. And you're making space for something even better to come into your life. And it doesn't necessarily mean a thing. It can be a person. It can be um, an event. Um, it's going to be something though. So this is all about great new things coming to you. But be open to receive. I think that's kind of our theme for today. And your Spirit animal card is card number three, the elk. Let's see what the book says about the elk. By the way, these two cards add up to five, and five and three is eight, and that's all about abundance. So when I was just talking about things coming into you, well, this is all about abundance, and who doesn't want that? All right, card number three, the elk. Elk medicine teaches that pacing yourself will increase your stamina. Elk medicine people may not be the first ones to arrive at a goal, but they always arrive without getting burned out. If you have taken on too much recently, it might be a good idea to look at how you plan to finish what you have started without ending up in the hospital. Elk people have a curious kind of warrior energy because they honor the company of their own gender. They can call on the medicine of brotherhood or sisterhood. In discovering the strength which is gained from loving the gender that is your own, you will feel the comrade, comradeship that arises from the simu, similarity of experience. This is a special medicine that allows the friendship of others of your same sex to overcome potential competition or jealousy. If elk medicine has arrived in your life today, you may be telling yourself to seek the company of your own gender for a while. You may need a support group to realign yourself with the stamina of the warrior or warrioress energy that you are a part of. This communication with others of your own sex allows you to air your feelings in safety and to get feedback from others who have had the same experiences. You may need a new sense of community, communication in unity. Elk could also be telling you to look at how you are holding up physically to the stresses of your life and to pace yourself so that you maintain an equilibrium of energy over the distance you plan to cover. Vitamins or high energy foods may be one solution along with some personal quiet time for replenishment. One of the things that I've discovered in the, just the past few days is more and more people are telling me that they need to go out into nature or that they are going out into nature. Um, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of chaotic energy in our world right now. 
and going out in nature can be very stabilizing and grounding and it just feels good. Go out, hug a tree, just sit on the ground, um, lay on the ground. I'm looking outside the window that you can't see right now and there's leaves all over the grass and it just makes me smile because I love the smell of the leaves. I love the crunch of the leaves. Um, I went for a motorcycle ride on Sunday and the smell of the trees was so amazing and the colors so beautiful and then if there were leaves on the road and we rode over those leaves they went crunch 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 and it was just I can't even explain it it was just so beautiful it felt good it smelled good you know using all the senses it's just amazing so anyway being outside can be a very good thing if you can do that and elk is telling you that yes, you can start new things, you can be motivated, you can do all kinds of stuff, but also you want to pace yourself and you might want to find some community with people of your own sex. Find that brotherhood, find that sisterhood, find that whatever group that you feel will help lift you up. Okay, and that's the key. You want to be hanging out with people that lift you up. Those are your people. That is your tribe. So that is stack number three. Let's do a little golden singing bell to celebrate stack number three. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I love you all. I send you my love and blessings of peace and joy and prosperity and abundance and divine health and all good things. Have a beautiful, blessed day, my soul family. Namaste.